all lose hope, the answer is yes. Okay. It's really the suit that can make you look terrific. Our first model is Vernice, and she weighs 160 pounds, and she's a size 16, Joan. And I put her in a suit. We are going to show you before and after how okay. the suit, none of these models lost weight. It is the suit that has changed their figure. The first one, there's Vernice, and she's wearing a one-piece suit. It's cut high at the top, cut long at the bottom. It has an extra... A uh, piece of fabric to hide her tummy. This is what a large size woman would normally choose, and it's a print. But as you see, it is not flattering for a size 16 figure. When we found a better suit, now let's show you Vernice. There she is. The amazing thing is, it's less suit. We revealed more of the body, but she looks slimmer. It has a V neckline, Joan, and the straps are way out on the shoulder, which gives you that broad shoulder look, narrower hips. It has the same effect as shoulder pads in a blouse. You widen the shoulders and optical illusion is that the hips are more narrow. Also the color on this suit. The other was print. A solid suit is more flattering. This is color blocking. You see it comes in as a V on the waist and makes her waist appear smaller. Also the legs. Rather than cutting the legs low as we did on the first suit and trying to hide those thighs, you cut it higher, you reveal more of the thigh and the illusion is see that her legs <laughs> yeah, look longer and more slimmer. So I think there are secrets to making yourself look better. You and bet. this suit is by Gay Bar. All right, what about uh, women who are very thin? Because some women are extremely thin, right? And you know, sometimes a large size woman doesn't have any sympathy for someone that's too thin. But a person that is too thin is just a self-conscious being on the beach. And this is Linda, and Linda is five foot nine, and she weighs under 100 pounds, David. This is a suit that is wrong if you are very thin because it is too short for her. She has a long torso, the stripes go up and down, and makes her look thin. When we switched her into another kind of a suit, we, we've oh, given her a difference. Isn't that amazing? Well, this is a big, bold pattern which distracts from her size and camouflages the fact. The most important thing here is that we've given her a suit with a belt and it gives her a figure. It indents at the waist and in the back it has elastic. It cups under and gives her some shape in the back and I think Linda looks wonderful. This suit is by Harbor Casuals. I would then take it that a bold print would not be good if you're heavy. That's if right. You say that it's good for thin. That's right. All right, what if you're different size, or different size on the top and the bottom? Because that's a problem that a lot of people have. Big problem. Yeah. And this model, Paula, is a size six on the bottom, Joan, and she's a size 12 on the top. And she's had a terrible time finding swimsuits yeah. because swimsuits across the country, this is an example, if you buy a two-piece suit, the average cup size is a B. And as you see here, Paula is, doesn't get coverage, she doesn't get support, and it really isn't flattering. Now we've taken the same swimsuit, and this is a D cup, you see she's covered, she has support, and this company makes swimsuits according to your bra size, not your dress size, and they're sold all across the country. The company is called Roxanne, and it's really wonderful for whatever size figure. Yeah, okay, what but if it is the opposite? There are women with the opposite problem, and that is that she has no bust at all. This is a swimsuit that has no bra, no support, makes her appear very flat, and as you see here, we gave her a two-piece swimsuit on Carrie. Here she comes. And this suit, isn't that terrific? Yeah. The Makes suit all is the by Bill Blass, and it has a double ruffle on the top, so you can add width. That's great. It really is amazing. It's amazing. What about, okay, this... Something this that we back, both know about. That we both know about and brings back a lot of memories. All right? And for all of us, you know, Lauren. David, this we're not going to show you a before and we're not going to show you an after. This is called a during. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this is Lauren wearing a swimsuit uh, for a maternity lady. And Lauren is eight months pregnant. And what's important here is that it has a great bra to give her support. It has a full blouse on top, narrow at the hips for some definition. And this suit has straps that are made just for swimming. And doctors say that swimming is a good exercise for most pregnant women. She looks great. I think oh, she, she looks, looks great, too. Oh, you bet. <laughs> Brings back a lot of memories. Thank you all. Ladies, thank you for helping us out today. Pat, thanks. And that's it. And that's it. And here we go. And we'll be back after these verses from Jeannie Garage Door open. Left him speechless. Right. <laughs> Next week on Good Morning America, Patrick Duffy, Veronica Hamill, Bill Murray, and Cooking with Dinah Shore. <laughs>